I'm buzzing for this video. I'm really excited about this. This is Dan Bateson. He's been on the channel before. And Dan's recently got an e-bike over here. And I've ventured out on the Marin Alpine Trail E1, which is my e-bike. We've either just crossed the border from England to Wales or we're really close to it, aren't we? Yeah, I've no idea actually. And this is somewhere I've kind of known about for years and I've driven past for years and years and years going to like proper, proper Wales, Dovey Bike Bark Revs. I don't know if on camera you can appreciate how steep this hill is and the gradient of it, but honestly, it reminds me of places I've ridden in Whistler Bike Park, like the backcountry tracks there, like Trespass, where it's just an endless kind of one in one gradient that just doesn't seem to ever cease until you get to the bottom. We've just arrived, we've ridden up about a third of the way. Is this about a third of the way up? Probably a third, yeah, that's fair. Dan's convinced me to go in eco mode. These bikes have eco, trail and boost on the Shimano motors. Eco seems to like do nothing. It probably brings me up to an average athlete. I currently <laughs> sit way below that. So I'm probably gonna up it to boost shortly. But Dan and I were talking about where we can ride our e-bikes today on this weekend. And Dan suggested this place, which is- Your brother actually. Yeah. He was driving past here, hung over one day. And he pointed up here and he said, there's good biking on that hill. And we laughed about it for years, just driving past, just going, good biking on that hill and just cracking on with our days, going to revs. Oh, so you're kind of taking the mick? Just taking the And then one day we thought, you know what, we'll have a look. And yeah, good biking on this hill. So they kind of overlooked the raving drunkard ramblings of my twin brother. And five years later, stumbled across what looks like just the steepest endless hill that I've ever seen within two hours of my house. So I'm buzzing to have a bike finally, which will serve this place and kind of do it justice. Cause on a naturally aspirated acoustic bike, I can't imagine you'd do more than one run of here. So I wouldn't. Yeah. I'm in eco mode now and it just makes my legs feel like they semi work how they would have five years ago. So I'll up it to boost, leave Dan in my dust. We're going to show you what a steep bike park looks like. POV. Right. All right, mate, you still in eco? Yeah. Oh, it's like, doesn't do, don't pack much of a punch, does it? Yes, e-bikes, on top of the world. That's Wales, that's England. Oh, my brakes need a bit of... So there they go, they're cooked now, they're hot. Wow, it's rooty. Woo! Please don't crash, because I'll run you over. Whoa! Oh, I've not ridden anything like this for years. Oh. It wants to be loam, but it's too steep to be loam. Oh. It's amazing how much these bikes just feel like normal bikes when you're coming down. I know you've all heard it before, but you do not feel the weight. Woo! That was so out of shape. And there's big rocks. Oh my god. Whoa! I hope this looks as steep as it is. So, so steep. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Feels sick to be hanging on for life again. Oh. You're right. No, my bike feels amazing just hang, like doing it all through the brakes how far down are we half not even yeah half. wow i did not stop concentrating that whole time ready yeah he has got something in his spoke <laughs> yeah bro oh. Oh. back into the dirt oh, oh my god i went into that too hot I was turning right and a route just pinged me left. That is so good. Yeah, oh my on. God, I love that. I've got arm pump. Really? I hope people know how steep that is. You're not off the brakes. There's not one point when no. you're off. It's a good job I'm changing these brakes tomorrow because they'll, they'll be cooked. They're going in the bin. Not really, I'll give them away. Put it in boost. Almost there. Are you still in the Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. We're doing a different track now. I want to go first. I'll I'm try. desperate to lead Dan in, even though it'll be blind for me. Oh, 
Oh, well, we kind of went wrong, but just keep going. <laughs> yeah, just keep going, it'll still be good. Oh, I didn't see this line. Oh my god. We're doing a bit of a mash up. Yeah, this is the rock slab up here. Creep off the end, I think. Look at our tyres. No wonder it got hectic. It's like decomposed compost. Getting the hang of it now. See that antenna? I did a base jump off one of those the other day, and that was easily high enough to do it. Yep. You'd be able to fly the whole of the hill. Yeah. Yeah, easily high enough. I've just had a revelation, which might sound like I'm 10 years late to the party, but I've never been a good like climbing guy. I'm quite good at riding jumps, tricks. I feel like I'm a pretty good downhill rider, but pedaling up, I've always been the least technical climber. Like I've over the years been as fit as my friends I ride with, but I'm always the guy who wheel spins and things like that. And then I had a bit of a revelation then while pedaling up. I changed right up into like the easiest gear, the highest in the cassette, and it felt like the motor kicked in so much more. And I remember the EMBN guys told me that e-bikes assist you the most at a cadence which seems too fast for most mountain bikers. I obviously grew up riding a single speed dirt jump bike. I was always just like grinding the same gear, mashing to try and get speed for jumps. I never was good at spinning. And I just went into a spinny gear then following Dan and suddenly the motor kicked in and assisted me. So it's that cadence that feels the most uncomfortable for me where the e-bike helps me most. So I found that now. So it's a bit of a, an epiphany. I'm now the climb guy. Right Dan, let's find this track. Ready? I'm the climb guy. He's fast. Do you definitely know where you're going? Oh my god, I'm off, I'm off, I'm off. Oh good. Just on crashing. Oh, this track is so cool. It's like gravel now. Where I'm going. So rocky. Oh. Yeah, Dan! Oh, you. <laughs> you just got in a real gnarly position. Big old bench press. Big press up. Yeah, you did a hard bench press. You good? Oh, yeah. I hope there's some shots there where people can see how steep this is. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It's the weirdest hill. Everything's so flat. You ready then for one of the best tracks ever? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did we not do it first? I didn't want you to peak too soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why is it good? It's just got Let's everything go. in it. Do you want me to lead you in? Go no. On, will I die? <laughs> oh, pedaling. <laughs> That's some technique. <laughs> oh, this was the high line. Do you want to go ahead? I think it's quite gnarly through here. There might be a drop. Couldn't wow. tell you. Are you going to go between the trees? I haven't looked yet. I'm going to boost it. Christ. Yeah, just trying to catch you up. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and that was ridiculous. I had such bad arm pump from halfway down, I exploded over a corner. But Dan's right, it actually has everything. That that little gully shoot between the trees was as tech as it's so technical. There's some fast open flat out turns that are actually berms. And the rest is just crazy rooty off camber with no grip. So <laughs> it's a good track. He's right, let's do it again. We'll just do a race pace head down round and see if I can link it. Let's pretend there's a clock. Are you sure we're in Wales? I've honestly not seen one sheep. I was thinking then I've not done one of these tracks yet and not messed up. I've gone over a turn. I'd like to clean this one top to bottom. It's a tough one to but clean. I kind of need you to lead me to that off camber bit where I fell off the side. I'm still in boost just in case. What? Yeah. Just in case. In case. Need to yeah, because this, this is a race run. You ready? Yeah. Go on Danny boy. This track really has it all. It's like the ultimate race track that needs an uplift. Yeah, Dan, that's a nice line. Oh, it's tight. Oh my God. Is this it, yeah? Oh, we're going so slow. That's how steep it is. We're trying to go as fast as we can. Oh. Yes, Dan. Oh my God, that rock. My brakes are cooked. My brakes and arms are cooked. Break. <laughs> I will never stop if I have to. <laughs> Woo! Nice. That was a sick highlight. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Vocal. <laughs> yes, Dad. Yes. I had a bit of a mess in the gully. My oh, my arms at the end were so cooked. That is so cool. The five runs we've done give us about half a mile of climbing, about 800 meters, right? Probably. Yeah, that not is far out. the guesstimation from Dan's previous visit. It's about 150 or more from here to the top. So that's pretty good going. I've still got half a battery. Dan some hours less. It's at this point I tell you I've been in boost most of the day. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened. I'm buzzing. That is a very, very, very cool place. Anyway, I'll follow you down this one. Try to keep up. I always keep up. Oh. <laughs> cool tree. Whoa! This one's cool. Steep. I'd say my face marks the end of a good day, which was just the best day. The rain stopped now. We should, probably should have arrived about now, mate. Yeah, it would have been all right, wouldn't it? But up on back. those, it was so slick, it was magic. We just went up for another one and Dan's e-bike died halfway up. So we pushed all the way to the top and got some phone clips on this kind of really sketchy rock job and I skidded out of control, honestly completely out of control, I snapped a tree in half, which I, here's the clip. Oh my God. <laughs> so at least we got it on film, but it's been cool. It's good riding with Dan. I grew up riding with Dan. He's like one of the local heroes at Woburn. 
who we, when we were teenagers we rode together all the time if you watch the videos at the very very start of this channel which very few of you probably are around for Dan was in a lot of those and we always peer pressured him into hoofing fronties on any jump and it's not really changed have you got that clip of you doing the frontie at Dovey? yeah I'll have it so, yeah. right, I'm going to put it in now look at this Yeah, Dan's a maniac and he's just picked up a load of bike sponsors, which is sick. So he's quit his job and now he's kind of part of the team. Let's keep going, Dan. That was sick. Legends.